Hello and welcome back to the Entertainment Vortex. Today we were at Brennan Theaters watching Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw. One hell of a name. Going into this movie, I was really excited. If you're someone that's been watching our reviews for a long time, you probably remember the Fast and the Furious movies. We did a review for each one of the recent ones, and I'm always very positive about them. I understand that they are ridiculous. I understand that they are turned up to 14 in the over-the-top meter, and I'm completely okay with that. Going into a movie, your hope is that they follow the rules that they set. Well, the rules that the Fast and the Furious movie set is there are no rules. Anything is possible. And you just kind of suspend your disbelief when you go in there. I mean, gosh, this is one of the movies where he literally drives a car up to put grenades on a helicopter or something. It's insane. Amazingly insane. But you get used to that stuff, and that's kind of where this series is going. Hobbs and Shaw is definitely more of the same. And in a couple scenes, way more of the same. It, it is ridiculous. But at the same time, it is extremely fun. The, this movie is basically charisma the movie. Because every single star in this movie is oozing with charisma. Obviously, you've got Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You've got Jason Statham as the main two roles. And who I think is probably a newcomer, Vanessa Kirby. I haven't seen her in anything personally that I can think of. But the three of those main people are just oozing with charisma, like I had mentioned. Each one of them could carry this movie on their own. You put them together as this kind of unlikely trio, and it's just hilarious and heartwarming, and you can't take your eyes away from it. Then you add some of the other actors, which I won't give away at some of them, because, man, I did not see some of those coming, and they were awesome. But you add some of the other actors, and you've got this wonderfully likable group of characters. Then you've got Idris Elba. Anybody that knows me and my tastes know that he is the ultimate badass. Like, Idris Elba can do no wrong. That guy is amazing. And just like in a majority of his movies, he exudes that in this movie as well. It's like masculinity is just pouring off of him. Like, he appears on screen and everybody gains a chest hair. It's, it's kind of ridiculous how strong this guy is and how much his presence is on screen. So when you put a great group of heroes, a great villain together, and then you smash all that charisma together, good luck containing yourself because I definitely couldn't. I was just giddy. It, it was fantastic. Plus, the story, which is pretty over the top, has a bunch of surprises that you're not going to see coming. Some of it's a little predictable. Don't be surprised that you see some of it coming. But the stuff you don't see coming, you're either going to laugh hysterically because it's hilarious, or you're gonna do the whole, oh, thing, where you're like, just reacting to just the sheer craziness on screen. While I do that a lot in movies, people I go to the movies with, my editor and then JB, don't tend to do it as much, and I saw both of them doing it in this movie over and over again, where you're so affected by what happened on screen that you physically reacted to it. That is a good sign. This movie is action turned up to 14 out of 10. Why 14? Because it's higher than 10. This movie is actually really easy to recommend. If you're the type of person that likes action movies, comedies, or most beneficial Fast and the Furious movies, this is an automatic yes. You're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to laugh. You're going to enjoy the crazy and wonderfully choreographed action scenes. It's just really gonna be a good experience. So there's really no reason to skip it. Now, if you're someone that has watched the Fast and the Furious movies in the past, and you're like, those are silly, don't bother. I mean, this is so much more of the same, it's kind of ridiculous. I do believe that this movie is kind of setting up stuff to come. I don't know exactly what that's going to be. I definitely am not gonna spoil anything from the movie. If you are skipping it because it's a side movie, don't. You're gonna regret not seeing it. And this is definitely a movie you wanna see in theater. The only thing I can see people complaining about is the length of the movie. Uh, this movie is well over two hours, and as JB said, right about the point where you think it's going to end, you've got a whole other act that's about to happen. So the length of the movie is a bit much. If you're enjoying it as much as I did, you don't really notice, but uh, I think a lot of people are going to go, wow, this is still going, and then just go right back into having fun. Uh, so with all that being said, I'm going to give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. This movie is exactly what it told you it was. It is comedy, it is high action, it is oozing with charisma everywhere. One-liners, ridiculous stunts. It's exactly what you want it to be. So if you wanted to see this movie, it almost perfectly delivers what you want to see. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We give you multiple videos every single week. And we have t-shirts available if you're interested in those as well. Those are available down in the description below. We hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.